Creatine is a bit of a miracle supplement. There is no other supplement out there that consistently produces the results in terms of sports performance with very little side effects and a great safety profile like creatine. And the effects on performance and body composition have been researched for years now. But there is one new area when it comes to creatine that the researchers started to pay quite a lot of attention to, and that is the effects that it has on our brain. Now, as many of us might not have realized, creatine is found in the brain. Not as much as it's found in the skeletal muscle of our body, but there is a, a significant quantity found in our brain. And it plays an important role in the energy processes that go on in our brain and, and how it generally functions. We know that because in rare genetic conditions where people don't have enough creatine in their brain, their brains often don't develop normally. They show signs of intellectual disability, they might have seizures, autism-like behaviours. Now what you may already know about creatine is that our body naturally produces it, so our liver produces it, but we also get creatine from our diet. And although we don't have really accurate research on this, it seems as though most people eating a normal western diet, they might get around a gram, two grams of creatine from their diet alone on a daily basis. Now scientists have already discovered that when you supplement with creatine, it increases your whole body creatine stores, including your brain. So because we know that creatine plays an important role in how our brain functions, scientists came up with a hypothesis that by supplementing with creatine, we might actually improve or boost our brain function. Now we have a few studies that have looked at this, but I'm going to focus on the research that I think is more applicable to you, the viewer of this video. Now one of a few studies here, they took 21 year olds and they had them take 2.2 grams on average of creatine a day for six weeks in total. And they compared this to a placebo group. And what they found was that creatine didn't necessarily improve their math skills or memory in the, in the test that they were doing. But as many of you will know, if you take creatine, 2.2 grams is a relatively low dose. And it may be that this dose just wasn't enough to, to see the effects. But there have been a few other studies looking at memory-based tasks and tasks that require a lot of cognitive activity. And the results of those have generally been quite mixed and it's hard to draw conclusions. But that's in a general population with no pre-mental fatigue or anything like that. But when we induce mental fatigue on people, we see something slightly different happening. For example, there was this one study and they took people in their 20s and they asked them to do a difficult mental task for around 90 minutes. Now this mental task tested lots of different elements of their thinking, but it's the sort of thing you've probably had to go out in the past. The sort of word pops up that says a colour, but it's in a different colour and you have to say what colour it's in. So tasks that are designed to really make you think. And in this study, the people who consumed 20 grams of creatine a day compared to the placebo group had an improved performance on that test. Then there was another study and they induced a different kind of mental fatigue. So they got a group of elite male rugby players then they split them into two groups. The first group was asked to have seven to nine hours of sleep that night, and the other group, they were asked to only get three to five hours of sleep. The next day, the players were randomly assigned to either have a creatine drink or a placebo drink. About an hour and a half after that, they were tested in a skills-based test. Specifically, they were asked to run 10 meters and pass a rugby ball at a high pace through a hoop. Now, the first bit of their results are quite expected. The group that were deprived of sleep did considerably worse than the group who had adequate sleep. But this next bit is really interesting. It seemed as though, even though they were sleep deprived, the group that took the creatine didn't actually perform any different to the group that had enough sleep and didn't take creatine. So it basically seemed as though creatine got rid of any of the effects of having a lack of sleep on this particular task. And this follows a number of studies that have been quite positive in their result when people are mentally fatigued and they take creatine. So what can we take from these studies? Well, from the research we have so far, it doesn't seem as though creatine has any effect on brain function in normal people who get enough sleep, aren't deprived of oxygen, and aren't seriously mentally fatigued. So I'm afraid by loading creatine before an exam, it doesn't look like you're going to perform any better unless maybe you're severely sleep deprived. And that brings me on to my second take home point from this. Now this research is really early so do take this with a pinch of salt but it seems as though in very severely mentally fatigued people so maybe people with extreme sleep deprivation or extreme mental fatigue under very tough conditions creatine supplementation and probably more like loading doses of creatine might significantly reduce the effects that you would normally get from those conditions. So final take home point is don't rely on creatine to give you some sort of boost in your mental performance especially if you're young healthy and get enough sleep, it's probably not going to have any beneficial short-term effects in here. But that's not to say that it doesn't have any effect and it might be useful for some people in some situations. Now there is some more interesting things in this paper about anxiety, depression, future Alzheimer's and dementia risk that we're going to tackle in the next video. There's two videos coming out a week at the moment so if you like this content do subscribe and I will see you soon in another video.